I will we'll figure it out. Bang, yo, we are here for another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. If y'all turned in last week to the show and you was watching, two weeks ago, or you listened two weeks ago, you heard the podcast was taking a, a different direction. We are going to start being going into uh, what we call conspiracy theories or theories and different things. And today's theory that we're actually going into is basically the simulation theory. And what the simulation theory is, it says that we're basically living in a simulation. Basically, what we perceive as reality is not reality. It's actually some program that we're living in, created by somebody who oversees this whole process <clears throat> and is observing us and seeing what we're doing in our everyday lives. What we think to be as normal is just basically a program being ran. I know people have a hard time believing that shit or even saying, man, well, how can that possibly be, man? Like we're, we're living in the computer. But think about something like this. A lot of you people, are, a lot of people religious out there. And a lot of people believe in, uh, in God and everything. God created the universe. He created man. He created all living things on earth. He created the air you breathe. The water you the water you drink, the food you consume. It's not getting ahead of ourselves. So what's so different than that than not being considered a simulation? Damn it. Mm. Even even uh yeah, even Buddhism believe that even in this, Buddhism. yeah, Buddhist. 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 Not, Buddhist. not Buddhism. Not Buddhism. <laughs> not Buddhism. 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 They believe that they was taught that the world they was taught that the world we live in is also an illusion. And that is what was created by someone. So this whole thing of this simulation theory goes as far back as religion. It just recently that somebody broke it down and explained it to us. But before we get to that, let's get into some things that probably led this guy to thinking about certain movies back in the days. Think of a movie in the 80s, Total Recall. I remember Total Recall? Yeah, but I don't think that that was... I don't remember, but you can first... Okay, well, I'm going to explain it to you how Total Recall was. Arnold Schwarzenegger went to a place called Recall, and they had different like memories you can have implanted to you while you sit in this machine and you'll be able to live your fantasy life. Oh, I need the that memories right they implanted into you. So they implanted the memories of him as being a secret agent. And somehow in the process of him being a secret agent, somebody busts in a room and it all went haywire. It's people trying to, it's after him. A, a secret government is after him. This is all happening on Mars might I say, and he's being chased around and followed, trying to be killed, and recall is actually bad. Those are all memories that he was get, being implanted with. Mm -hmm. And he was basically inside of a dreamlike state, which was somewhat be a simulation, <laughs> which is being ran on him. Um, See, I, 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 you know, I think that's the interesting part about simulation. Um, if you define simulation it doesn't necessarily have to be a computer generated thing it could, well so, somewhat but so, like dreamlike states as well you know what i mean like it's it's really how i see it one of the ways you could be in a simulation is like your mind your mind being the only one present like i think uh the guy we were talking about earlier i'll, I'll let you uh um, introduce that a little bit later but he was saying like how do we know our minds are in a vat somewhere you know what I mean? Hooked up into this supercomputer and like we don't have a body, but we have a mind and that's what's in the simulation. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So so um, movies like that would be like Inception. You know what I mean? Like that particular way of doing things. Like what we perceive not being totally, you know, like real in a sense, but being real from what we see in our minds, if that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. It's another is another is well SARS SARS of sort of the that or the body being transplanted. It was an anime I watched what I was telling y'all about yesterday called Sword Art Online. And basically it was a video game that you put a headset on and your body, your mind will be completely immersed in this reality world. You if you have your physical body there, but it was like a game. You can level up and everything like that. 
Mm -hmm. But the creator of the game went crazy and he went so crazy that he made it. If you died in the game, you actually died in real life. So the people that was locked in the game at the beginning of the game, when they found out this, few of the players were so scared that they just started uh, unaliving themselves. That's the word you got to put Facebook, unaliving yourself. They went to a cliff and unalived themselves. A couple other people. Yeah, people, yeah, I was saying, people, other people who got in the game, they got scared. They didn't want to do anything in the game. They just wanted to stay where at the beginning of the map, and they didn't want to go anywhere because they were scared of dying. A few other of the players was like, we're going to try to beat this game. We're going to try to escape. If it costs it our life, it does. If it doesn't, some just lived their life out like they would normally do in the real world. And then you had others that was like, they realized it was a simulation. They said, I'm just going to go fucking completely haywire and do whatever I want. We're just going to make this killing cult where we go around and just taking out other players and we're going to do whatever we want in this game. That's the that's the interesting part to me. I that's think that's the scary. more interesting. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead, though. The interesting part about that is because if you figured out you was living in a simulation or you found out this was a simulation, would you still want to live in the rules of every day I'm waking up, going to work and doing everything else? Or would you just say, fuck it, this is not real anyway. Let me go ape shit in this bitch. But yeah, their yeah. bodies, but they, like I said, their bodies was put in there to a video game. Another movie I remember, which everybody remembers the simulation. They got everybody talking about it. Was Mr. Anderson with the red pill and the blue pill movie called Matrix. The Matrix. Yes. You're so strange. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Anderson. Mr. Anderson, take the red. Mr. Anderson. Neo. Neo. Cor- correct. But he was he was a hacker. <laughs> Mr. Anderson was the one in the Matrix and Neo was the one outside. Yeah, Neo the hacker. He was hacking and he's trying to find out what this thing called the Matrix is. Yeah, but basically the basis of the Matrix is the same thing as simulation. Uh people being harvested. We w- I wasn't sure if it was like for their energy or what 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 the case was, but they were their minds were being controlled, put into a simulation where they were doing everyday things that we do, regular life shit. And um he was given the opportunity to relieve himself of being in the matrix and happened to be the one that they were searching for to end all of this um capture and seizing of humans. It's all right. So, obviously, I watched The Matrix maybe 20 years ago. And to me, it was always interesting. Now, I do think there is an innate, and uh, Kev, you can keep us on on track, but to me, the thought process of being in a simulation or being in a fake reality is interesting altogether. We all at one point thought, and maybe it's because of TV, you thought you were in some type of, Fake reality at one point. You 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 know what I'm saying? Like you kind of yeah. look around. Like everybody has done that one thing, and then kind of look like look to a fake camera. Like, yeah, I've done that. I've done that as an adult. You I know do that saying? sometimes now. I just yeah. look away and I'll make a face right. like to a gym. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? You because the thought process of if somebody's watching me, you know, if somebody's watching me. <laughs> This can't be real. Everybody has thought that when something happens, this can't be real. This is some bullshit. You said it out loud at times. Yes. Exactly what I thought was going to happen that was bad. It happened. Nigga, you got to be motherfucking kidding me. This is bullshit. That's the interesting thought about it. And we'll get into, um, whenever whenever you want, Kev, we can get into how, like I talked about off, off camera, I talked about gravity and and certain things and well, and how well, that is written in, but I, I just right. wanted to point that out. All right, so where this we all came from, this that. simulation theory came up by a guy and uh, Nick Bostrom. You can look him up. And Good basically he said, yeah, he said we're living in a simulation. And basically the simulation theory is a theoretical hypothesis that says people are perceived as reality is an actual advanced, hyper-realistic computer simulation 
possibly overseen by a higher being. Mm -hmm. And he gave three reasons, and we're going to break down each mm -hmm. reason, but I'm going to just break down how he came up with this hypothesis that we're living in this simulation, how we could possibly be living in it. His first thought was, which Dre was going to question me on, he's going to question me on this song. Damn right. That we become so advanced that we eventually, humans become so advanced in technology, they wind up, end up destroying themselves. This is one of the possibilities that we possibly can't be living in the simulation. That's the first one. The second one is that we do become hyper intelligent, but we're more, but we become so smart that we're not interested in making these what's called ancestral simulations, which is simulations that look at how our ancestor lives, that we're more concerned on what's going on in the universe and everything around us. And that's what we want to do. If those two things doesn't happen, then the third one is that we are living in the simulation, that we became so advanced, and so smart, that we wanted to create an ancestral simulation to see how we're living. That was the third. So that's his hypothesis of the simulation. Now, Dre's been questioning me on is the first one. Yeah. Why, nigga? We become so advanced that we end up destroying ourselves. I question all and, that. Why? Why? Okay. And why I'm would saying, I, why would I want? All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me, let's, go, let's, ahead, go, back. let's go back. Because I come from the standpoint of just a normal person, no science background, no nothing. So to me, I look at things as black and white, you know, one thing versus the other. For so one of the theories, like so, so let me be very clear with this, and I want people who are listening to also be very clear. We're not scientists, we're not none of that. So a lot of this stuff isn't going to be like super duper hardcore Terrence Howard fucking, no. you know, the the matrixes of reality. No, this is just three niggas talking about some cool shit. What I see is if there is a higher being that created a simulation, I always ask, what for? There has to be a reason. I consider that to be an experiment. This experiment has to be for an outcome. So, and I, I'm, I'm gonna get to everything. This experiment has to be for an outcome. So why? Number one. Well, Number two, if it is humans at a higher level, what could they possibly want? And the theory that's saying that we are creating a simulation within a simulation, why would we do that as well? Imagine us getting to a higher form and saying, all right, I want to see niggas develop from, you know, from when we were cavemen or whatever. Wow, well, I don't want to see that shit, nigga. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, why would well, we care about that? Well, that's where the second theory comes in. Why would you create something? That's where the first two come in. That's why the first two saying maybe a simulation can exist, cannot exist. Because like you said in the second one, why would I want to create something to look at to see how the people live? Well, it, it could give, the, it doesn't necessarily have to be, the creator doesn't have to be human or alien. The creator could be computer tech itself it could be tech technology that creates who the created, simulation to put who created that what if the fifth what if what if there's different dimensions of beings and the one dimension that's the higher being there is, is technology you get what i'm so, saying and technology in order for technology to thrive it created technology in a different living situation and it's well, seeing how it could learn or live off of what we are because like if you if you like take it take take technology from a hundred years ago to now and how it's grown and how it's starting to thrive on its own to the point where now we have artificial yeah, intelligence the, the steam engine I'm cook. <laughs> but i'm gonna let you, yeah, I'm, gonna let you, you know I mean? I'm gonna let you cook and i'm gonna bring it back to which what, what i um what we we would technically be the constructs within this simulation so uh like from a physics standpoint you would you would say within the simulation for 
a lot of people would think it's real because nature wouldn't technically exist. Like what Dre was saying, you can't really measure gravity. Gravity is just gravity. You know what I mean? A lot of things that make up chemicals and things in this world are stuff that really can't even be seen. You can't see oxygen. You just know it's there, right? You could mm-hmm. smell gas, but you can't see gas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So the construct of these being put in place for us, could this could just be a learning experience for something else. Okay. Just like when we go on a computer to to read and 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 watch videos and learn stuff or you play video games and you learn different abilities and stuff like that because think about a lot of stuff that that can be done on the plane that we live in there's a cap to us and and our abilities like you may know somebody who could jump high but you're getting it only jump this high you know i mean you know that a plane could fly in the sky but you've never actually seen a plane in outer space not physically, You're you've never it. been able to go to a certain point. So the simulation has rules to it that has to be abided by. If technology created the simulation, then it this could just be another learning process for when it does interact with beings like ourselves. Okay, now you heard what Kev said. Andrea, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get go deep into that it. later. Go ahead. Hey, listen, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go back into yeah, it. We're gonna, we gonna jump into this. Well, the first, the first simulate, the first simulation theory is that we created technology that, and and we wind up the technology being so smart, we wind up end up destroying ourselves. Let me finish my thought. In order to create technology or some being like this as a robot, something just in our thought process as humans as far as we know you had to have some biological thing get that smart to create that technology to do what it did which leads back to the first theory if technology is just running it on itself it means it probably destroyed the biological thing that created it which inhabits the first theory that we created technology so advanced that we want it wind up killing us all off so that technology we created wind up becoming so smart that it wind up killing us off and it got and it needed us probably so what it did was or needed whatever we had it maybe created a simulation and probably made, like you said did what the fucking matrix did maybe harvested some organs maybe it, you know our body runs off electricity maybe the sun got blocked out they natural resource so like in the matrix they used our body to conduct electricity to keep these mechanical things alive you get what i'm saying so that's how the first theory comes into play because something biological had to create these machines and why are they not around no more why is the machines running that's because the first theory happened we created something that killed us so far the only thing that was around left to do was the machines. I hate that theory. Let me tell you why. Why? So here's the thing. This is what I was saying when we were talking about this before. All right. And I think that we can really get, we can really start to get, get into some shit where we can start cooking. We are basing everything we think off of what we know in this current reality. Yes. If we're assuming that a higher being created a fake reality, not just a simulation, but a fake reality. There's clearly elements, there's science, there's other things that we just don't know, we don't understand, and we can't fathom, right? So why something happened? You can never quantify that. You couldn't. You couldn't understand it. It could be something completely different. Maybe they didn't get destroyed. Maybe maybe this is... uh, I don't know. See, we can, it's hard to it's hard to it's put hard it to say words. Nah, why why would we kill be, ourselves? Nah, there could be no. I, see, I I hear that, and I want you to keep talking about that. I hear that, and to me, that shit don't make no sense. Like, okay, it, if, if no you're going, you. if you're going, nah, just think about it. It's like if apocalyptic, because that's what that sounds like. Like, all right, yeah. we're talking apocalyptic shit. Then I get that to 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 go to why we kill ourselves and run a simulation to see why we killed ourselves to me that's why the fuck does technology give a fuck that we killed ourselves if technology is the lone survivor no, so why would the simulation even matter to that piece the of technology they won 
Unless the simulation would never exist. The simulation, back. we can be the start of the simulation, the simulation that we never even got to the simulation that never exists. Right now, I'm going to tell you something. Right now, in 2011, the U.S. government was looking for a scornus in Southeast Asia rainforest for exotic viruses. Going Great into things. the fucking rainforest to look for fucking viruses, some of the deadliest viruses. You can go to North Philly right are, now and get a virus that you can't. Nah, but get I'm saying up. this is the shit we. This nope. is the shit we All do right, as humans. Mind. But no, I understand. This is the shit we do as humans. <laughs> we are fucking <laughs> actively <laughs> looking for something that can kill us all. We actively build shit that can fucking annihilate us. We went from fucking throwing rocks to slinging arrows to bullets to a fucking nuclear bomb. We might not, we not even, we might not be in the simulation because we might be the first. But at the rate we're going, we're going at the rate that we might just blow ourselves the fuck up. Well, we've been at that rate ever since we've been at war with different countries. No. We've used bombs and different type of technologies no. to end uh, a other civilization, ethnicity. Not just, not just a civilization, but a whole group of. of ethnicities like it's not it's not just oh. you know what i mean so yeah. so us killing each other off genocide is that's not nothing new within humans you get what i'm saying what i'm saying the thing, that's the path the thing, we're going on re, we've always been going on that path so what what, what think is as technology furthers itself bro just look at if technology what, further right, itself what, if i want to dangerous do you think we're going to fuck saying, with you? We got people who go into rainforests. They look for exotic viruses. That's nothing but research. People research shit all the time. How do you think we learn things the way we learn things? Somebody has to be the person to put it on the well, line look, and, and figure well, something at, out to send it back. The thing look is, COVID. Look at is COVID. That's, yeah, but that's not necessarily technology. That's that was technology. What, that was created in a lab that got what, fucking released to us, and it killed off a bunch of people. They, they, Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited. Your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited. Proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. They they actually got proof that this happened. It's cool, man. You got the you got the uh you got the shot. You all right. <laughs> you got the but shot. I'm saying, right. But I'm saying, That's think about that shit. If it gets accidentally say, what's the movie called? Uh, uh, what was it? Eight Monkeys or whatever that shit was called. That the dude was they was researching some fucking virus Eight in the lab monkeys? and outbreak, outbreak or something. Yeah, whatever. Outbreak. Eight monkeys. He's thinking about the movie with Bruce Willis. Crazy. I'm thinking about Bruce Willis. Oh, outbreak. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> said eight monkeys. Why? <laughs> out, 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 outbreak stuff. That. But think of that yeah, shit. Yeah, think of that shit. Outbreak, outbreak really happened to us just a couple of years ago. Absolutely, hunt for sport. Yep. So yep. that's why I keep saying that you, you, nobody can fathom. Well, well we're not going to destroy us. So why would we do something as dumb as that? I'm, so when I say this, I just don't understand where that fits in the. It was also Planet of the Apes, um, where that fits in the theory, us destroying well, ourselves. It fits in where the does theory that fit? You. Okay, okay. how fits in the twelve monkeys is, is right though. Just to go back, twelve eight monkeys, monkeys? Is right. Yeah. 12, what name? Where Bruce what Willis name was in the future, he had to go back in time to get research about a now that's playing now that's playing the apes that killed the human population, most of the human population. Now that's now that's playing the apes. Probably so. But okay, <laughs> what? Listen, listen. No, it's twelve monkeys, but that's playing the apes. Yeah. But, but, okay, <laughs> but this is what I'm saying: where it fits into the simulation theory. He's saying these certain certain parameters got to be met that we got to, oh, I said this yesterday, hurdles that we got to overcome to even get to us creating a simulation theory. Why? We got to get up. Because the first hurdle is, first, you got to have the technology to fucking even make a simulation, right? You got the technology to make a simulation. You got to okay. get smart enough to make a simulation. 
Okay. okay. But in the process of getting smart to make this simulation, two things got to be happen. You can't. We are on a path of making destructive fucking technology and shit that can help us. Which one wins the race first? Do we get to the point where we like, hey, let's slow the fuck down with the shit that can destroy us? Let's fuck with the simulation shit. Or we make this technology that destroys us and one day somebody actually fucking Jim slips while he's fucking cleaning the fucking office and sets off this trigger, this fucking bomb and fucking destroys the crow of the earth or blows the fucking planet up. That's the path we all. That's why I say that's how the simulation theory works because we got to get smart enough to create it. But at the same time, as we get smart enough to create shit that helps us, we're doing the same. We're making even bigger and badder shit that can fucking kill us all in the all same right. process. They're running neck and neck with each other. So, so well, we're they even get to the simulation theory. They even get to the second hypothesis, like yo, we're just so fucking smart that all we care about is the universe now. So, so the. The theory has steps that you need to get to the third one. So let's 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 be clear. What what because what always like I said I was telling you this off mic. What always kind of throw me off when we get to the theories of why shit like all those theories is the probability. If you start with probability of it being of reality being a simulation, that's where you get to those theories. So I want to make that clear first. Yeah. So the theory is about the probability that it's a simulation. Because yeah. if you just go on like, oh, it's a simulation because, and then this, that, and the third, to me, that's why it didn't make any sense. But if you're talking probability, then you, then all the other probabilities come into play. Of, yeah, that's what it, that's what of theory sense. one, two, and three. What I say is this, right? What I say is this, and I lost my train of thought. Yeah. But what I say is this: <laughs> when it comes to us destroying ourselves and all this and all that. Why let that be an option? And oh no, no. Here's here was my here was my thought. With all that said, why are we sentient? Don't don't go to a theory. I want you to answer that question. Why are we sentient beings? If if this is a we- simulation or a fake reality, why does it benefit the people who or the beings who created this to make us sentient? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I want you to just tell me. Don't quote a theory. I, I just would- tell me. Without a theory, and maybe Tell they want to think. I, I don't know. You uh, maybe the fucking pro the computer program was like AI with some higher technology that it like AI What's does now. It start no, nah, it start recognizing that it that it's it's alive. I was remember we, we think we read. I was showing you a video of, of a lady. They had an ape and they taught the ape sign language and the ape. Was just living his normal life. It would do do shit an ape does every day, man. You know, have his fun, whatever, eat, whatever. They start teaching the ape sign language that eventually you're going to die, that death is coming, and this and they explained how death, what his death is, and the ape fucking developed depression because it's like it realized it was a lie. It came, it it had the consciousness that oh, I'm a lie. And that's what probably happened here. This program probably started off as just why do you fucking think? Just, I think it just advanced. I just think it just advanced so much. Uh, advanced probably this pro. I don't know how long this program has been running for. And maybe the older programs died off, but in this in the process of it dying off, the newer programs that correct created started realizing that it's alive. And now we're at the point right now where people are saying that. It's starting to recognize, hey, we might be in a fucking simulation. That's the point we're at right now, yo. Like, I think whatever. If this is a simulation, it got to a point where it was sentient and it realized it was alive. Now we're so starting each to of us, each, each of, of us. us, all of us. Now we're starting to question itself: What are we being controlled by? Okay. So in the process, that's why, like I said. If, I had the hidden thing I broke down last week. There are tech billionaires in Silicon Valley right now that are fucking hiring scientists to try to break out of the simulation. Somebody became smart smart enough, if this is a simulation, to recognize, oh, this is a fucking simulation. I just don't know how to get the fuck out of it. And, and if I get out of it, where am I getting myself... Like, we don't even know what we're getting ourselves into. Are we getting ourselves into a vat in the brain 
a body or fucking we're just able to fucking now be this thing that lives in this program that we can do whatever we want in this program. We just escaped the program and now we can control the program. Okay. That's that that's a scary thought. Like if I escape the simulation, what do I become if I leave here? Right. That is a very scary thought. But that, that, that's what I'm saying. If you put yourself or what are you? If not what right. you become, but technically what, what are, are you? Because you? you're not that's that's where I'm driving this conversation towards because I'm saying if you're not this and you're just involved, and also that that's so that's where we need to separate some things out because it's like Either we are a part of this simulation, or we are the, and we have and we have nothing to do with what's controlling us, or we are out of the simulation. We existed before, or we exist outside of the simulation as something different that chose to be in the simulation to find out whatever we chose to find out. That's that is the question. But I say, if I was creating a simulation, because part of this is us, (laughs) part of part of this. Is um, you know, imagining if we, you know, the simulation created a simulation, which I still don't understand why the fuck I would do that. But if I create a simulation, let's say, so I can go in and control things, and I can be a millionaire and live my, you know, whatever it is. Why would I make the beings inside of it sentient, so that when I go in there, they'd be like, "Yo, get that nigga, fuck him up," because he the, he the controller of this shit. We found out. We well, eventually maybe. we found out. Let's I let's fuck that nigga up. What if this simulation is just a game? Like sort of like Grand Theft Auto, except it's where we're beings that play a game of life. I and thought this that is a game on hard. And you can either you're uh, either learning and, and and you're playing this game and every day is a different challenge. You know what I mean? And maybe what's in eternity for us. 100 years, 70 years, whatever the case may be. Just a minute. We might be playing this game for a few minutes or an hour mm-hmm. on that other side and wake uh, up like that. Imagine waking up and having two different sets of memories. One yeah. because you've been you've been in this game for what on earth is how many however many decades mm-hmm. and another is you wake up and you realize, "Oh, this this my life is totally different. Who I am is totally different." <laughs> But your friends in the game are the same. I've I've thought that many nights. I've sat up many nights and said, "This what if?" Because I don't care who you are, if if especially if life isn't going the way you want or the way you thought or whatever, you don't gotta be depressed. But like you know, just say if you're like, "Damn, shit is kind of you know, shit is kind of hard," which life is for everybody, even if you are a millionaire. I've thought and pondered on, yo, what if this is just some shit that I signed up for and I'm just doing on a whim. What if I am actually Andre outside of this, but I'm different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm a guy just playing a simulation, if you will. And just seeing how, how well I can do, you know what I'm saying? Like I thought that shit, bro. I thought it because your dreams, if your dreams, hold on one second, if your dreams, if you go into your dreams, your dream seems like forever, right? You in your dreams, and you, the, the the concept of time doesn't exist in your dream. Yeah. So you're in this dream, but to you, when you wake up, that shit was like, damn, I was only asleep for like two hours, and I didn't dream for the whole time. But in my dream, there was no concept of time. I was just doing whatever I was doing in high school. I keep having this recurring dream of me going back to high school. I don't know what the fuck it means, but I'm always back in high school. Or you're traveling to far distances instantly. Yeah. You know what I mean? At one point, you may be home, and then you walk out the door. Next thing you know, you're completely somewhere different. You know what I mean? It's plausible. It is. Well, go ahead, Kevin. What about to say? That leads to the second thing. Are we in the possibility of us being in simulations? Two things is possible. Either we in the process of getting to eventually the technology to create it. That means we're the first, we're going to be the first to make the simulation or we're somewhere in the middle or the end. We are a simulation of somebody who already is in a simulation that made another simulation, which will lead to two. 
we j- why would we create it? Like, if we became that smart and that intelligent, what is the purpose of fucking creating this thing? Like, say we're number one. Would you think it'd be a reason for creating this the whole fucking simulation to fucking watch it? I already questioned how I don't understand that to begin with. I don't understand that theory or why. So I rather yeah, why would they don't create? don't don't quote the theory. Just tell me why. Why like why would you create it? Like why? Like why create it? Like I understand we create a lot of people don't realize we create simulations right now. Like Kev said earlier, Grand Theft Auto. That is a simulation. Is that whoever that they, guy is in that exist, game? Do they exist when you're not playing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Remember the game? You remember the movie Wreck It Ralph when fucking they shut the video games off and the video games all met and they all had normal lives and everything else. But when the game, when it's when the arcade was open, everybody had to go return to their fucking job and go do their fucking job. And, and, and their job was to be on this video game. Wreck-It Ralph was to destroy the building every day, and this guy was supposed to build it back up. But Wreck-It Ralph got tired of doing the same thing all, all the time. He said, "I want to go to do other shit." Right. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, but back to what I'm saying is like, if we became that smart, say if this, say if we're not the simulation, say if we're about to create it. What is the purpose of me saying I'm gonna make something that can see a caveman live that keep watching it, just watching it build up to see how far this simulation can get? Can it get as far as we got right now? Can they get to our technology level? Let's same just watch. That's the same like, question I was saying this whole time. Yeah, like why why make this shit? Why like I think that's what I'm saying where this second theory would come in, would be like, why not just fucking uh why not just fucking go explore the universe? Why not go to another fucking planet? Why not fucking learn how to make fucking make gold out of fucking thin air or, or whatever, or learn how to fucking fly or genetically enhance myself, do something crazy, do something else? Like, why am I creating a fucking simulation for it? Well, Correct. it's a simulation of billions of people. But so why say, say if they're using this as a More. learning, learning. True learning yeah learning experience of what they can or can't do your your percentage of being able to get something completed is relatively higher when there's billions or trillions like Dre like to say of people or constructs within your simulation attempting to do multiple things at once you know what i mean so say if we created a simulation and like I said before, if this simulation could be long for us. It could be short for them. Mm-hmm. If this simulation is to get to a certain goal, then the time for them, it's nothing. For us, it's a long time because we're actually doing the work. We're actually living that life. We're technically the NPCs of our own lives. The, you know uh, what I'm saying? We're just what a, NPC mean. Uh, oh. a non, non-person, con, non-person, non-controlled person. Basically, non playable like character, a, yeah, non playable character. character. Uh, yeah. but we would be the NPCs in our in our own world that we live in. To them, we don't even know who would be the actual person running the game. They could be walking around with us. Get them. Be somebody in power. Get them. I mean, and we're just the millions and billions of people that are put to do because everything, something has to be done. And people have to. So, do they, why did they make it for it? That's what it's. It could be a learning experience on how okay, to get certain learn. things done faster. All right. Think about it. We're getting technology. Technology grows at a fucking very fast rate. Every time you turn around, there's some type. There's something new. A new mm-hmm. car. New type of car. Uh, a new type of fuel. A uh, new type of energy. There's Phoenix always something pills. new. This see, look. Dre's been out here doing research. I mean, and uh, there's always something new. Somebody's got to do it. All of these, imagine if if all of these new things are being created on an outside world because of what they learned on this one inside world. That'd be crazy. With us See? being now the simulation. Talking. Now you're talking. You know what I mean? What, what if imagine if if the the way they find cancer or the way they they heal the cancer out there, cure cancer. Is by going through the trials and tribulations within this simulation now you're and talking. what would actually happen out there to get it done. Yeah, now it's a lifetime for us. It's talking. decades and decades and decades. But for them, this could be Ten an minutes. overnight simulation. 
It could be right. some. It could be ten minutes. It could be yeah. instant for them. Right. You know what I mean? Now things happen. Things. It's just. You ready to put on your tinfoil cap? Yeah. I want you to continue. By the way, I just want to add something to you. Want to throw a bomb yeah. in there. Um. You got to think. What if they came up with this technology a long time ago? What if it's humans that came up with this technology a long time ago and figured out how to run it? And they're not even in the year 2024. But they're running that, they're running this simulation oh. so they can see how things cu currently, how that started, where it can go based on their laws of probability, right? And seeing, okay, is we about to be fucked? How long do we got? What can we change? How can we do it? It's basically them saying, okay, let's figure out the future so that we can start now and turning things around because we see where things are going. Racism is at an all-time high. I'm making this shit up. Racism is at an all-time high. People are getting killed in the streets. People are this and that and the third. Let's see where this goes. You know, we got this block-long computer that can do this. Let's see where this thing goes and see what we got to change. I'm going to take right? it a little further. I'm going to take it a little further. What if it is the future that created this and they did a simulation of the past up until now so they that's can correct. actually go to the past to Ooh. change the future. Oh, you talking? That's, called, that's okay. called ancestral. That that's called ancestral. Uh, the ancestral theory. No, no, we don't want to keep, I want you. I want you to keep. No, look, just, I want you. I, I want you to call. Them, but I want you to give your called. opinion too. <laughs> so I know that. I just, I'm going to give my opinion. To, I'm just giving you. I'm giving. Keep telling us what shit is called. I'm telling you what it's called, so you can look. I'm fucking with you. Okay, well, two things, both of which y'all said is cool. In which I like Kev's and I like yours. I like your theory too, Dre. What you said is like <laughs> thank you. You thank you, you basically bro. you you you're just Dre that just going into this fucking computer room and I'm just gonna fucking put this helmet on for 10 minutes, but I'm gonna live fucking 80 years. That'd be so you know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna live it with but I'm gonna live it with in 10 minutes of me having this VR helmet on. Because that's right. because what Kev can say, whatever mm -hmm. usually the government has, they give us a fucking a lesser version of that shit. We get like the fucking downplay version, like the internet and all that shit, which would be cool. You know, and another thing is like, we in this simulation, like who are, what we said earlier, the NPCs. If people got to think about this shit about being an NPC, you can, my man, Richie, been commenting a lot. Richie, you could be an NPC. And, or I could be. Think about yeah. how I explain Think about how, and you say, I can never be an NPC. I got a whole life and everything. Think about your life. You probably wake up, have the same routine. Probably go to work, have the same routine. Probably come home, have the same routine. Probably go to sleep, have the same routine. <clears throat> Only time your routine is fucking interrupted or changes is when another person enters into your space and changes your fucking routine. Virus. Say what I said, like, earlier. My brother called me earlier and said, hey, bro, I'm going to the lake later today. What are you doing? Maybe I'm the NPC. Hey, bro, you know, today is Sunday. Today I record my podcast like I do every Sunday. Him being a playable character is trying to see if he can break this NPC's fucking routine to fucking go meet him at the lake and the whole variable changes up. Because I have a set routine. That's what NPCs do. Every time you encounter an NPC on the game, they tell you, they repeat the same thing to you every time you see them. Unless you run to them, unless they're a real, like, intricate part of the fucking game, and you run into them in a later part of the game, and you need them to advance further. Like, yo, mm -hmm. man, like, I'm stuck at this bridge where we do. We got to go here, do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. Side go quest. run your trial. You do your side quest, and I'll be on the other side of the bridge waiting for you. <laughs> this nigga thinking Mario, brother. <laughs> but I'm saying, no, I'm thinking, but that's but that's how NPCs are. Yeah. Niggas don't realize you can Dre, you can be an NPC. I could be talking to Kev. Kev could be an NPC. Mm -hmm. This could be my video game. And then I'm, I'm a living and I'm like, yo, let me see what my homies is doing. Let me see if I how I could be a better interact with my friends better. Or where did I fuck up in my relationship with these niggas at? And y'all just running y'all daily fucking computer programs. I don't know what y'all do. Once we get off the screen, I don't know what y'all do. I know what I do in my reality, what I got here, or what y'all think is reality. <laughs> yeah. Dice. You know, uh, it goes, yeah. it goes with, yeah, I bet. Yeah, it, it goes with the, 
uh, you ever hear about the theory what what normally happens behind you doesn't exist until you turn around and you actually see it with your own mm-hmm. eyes your brain computes it Dang, what's that called it's called like I don't the, know, look you, it up it's it's with uh, the, the cat the cat in the box shit yeah yeah is the cat really in the box mm. or not no dead if the cat's not moving is yeah, he dead or is dead. he alive you yeah, don't know if he's dead. With poison yeah that's it's bro this shit is crazy when you really all right all right okay okay see people think they got free will right. being the npc you don't know what you're you free will free will mm. people think free will is something that hey i can do whatever i want i can fucking go walk down this fucking street butt ass naked if i want this is my thought i you're do free. what i want i control it i'm the controller of this thing i have free will over everything i have dominion over everything i'm a free thinker i independently think i don't need nobody to tell me what or how to do you don't know if you're npc you don't know if you're being programmed as npc you won't go to simulation he really is can i give you all this can i give you all the definition of free will and then we can continue mm-hmm. all right uh, it's uh according to fucking google's ai which is crazy um free will is the ability to choose between different options or courses of action independently of any prior event or state of the universe it's closely linked to concepts like morale morale responsibility moral responsibility culpability and praise which are only applicable to actions that are freely chosen what i want to offer in addition to that is there can be an illusion of free will also if i give you the options you can have free will to choose i can say hey guy do you want pudding do you want chicken do you want this do you want that these are your options you have the free will to choose that's free will right but it's also an illusion of free will what i'm saying is you, you could feel like you you're option. sentient yeah i gave you the options i gave you the option to choose you thought you actually chose but you didn't actually fucking go in that refrigerator and look and see for yourself what you actually want had that free will to do it missionary or doggy style or get on top sounds like you have free will but really yeah i'm getting what i want out of this situation yeah you know what i'm saying it's it's predetermined selection i i like that i like that to say all right so i know i i know i i don't want to take everything out but i want to say this shit before i forget it i don't know what part of the conversation we're in but i want to say this before i forget it so and i'm kind of going to jump y'all can jump back if you want or you can stop me or whatever the reason why I do believe in some with this probability of us being in assimilation, the reason why I do believe a good part of it or why it is very plausible to me is what Kev said earlier. Oh, we got time. Hey, go ahead. I'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. No, go, go ahead. Already go got my, yeah, man, you better say what you came to say. You already piqued my interest. Yeah, right. All right. The reason being is because we talked about gravity earlier. All right. So what I was saying to Kev off mic is, and I only wanted to say this because I know I'm going to forget and then we're going to just fucking move on, is when you look at what gravity is or when you look at what our world is, and like like Kev said, how the trees give us oxygen and we, you know, he, he explained it. I don't know what the fuck he said, but he said well, explain, Let me explain it. Yeah, I'll explain Go it ahead. Explain it. Well, the sun, say God created the sun. Explain the sun, if the sun feeds the plant, which the plant, as it feeds off the sun, eats the carbon monoxide, which gives off oxygen, which in turn we breathe in to keep us alive, <laughs> and we exhale the leftover, which is carbon monoxide, which the plant needs also to take in to repeat getting the energy from the sun to repeat photosynthesis. It's a All three things. It's a cycle. All three of these things live in harmony. Some right. had to create this whole fucking program for all three of these things to live in harmony. Just anything in it. You take anything as small as small as a dragonfly. If you was to take a dragonfly out of the Which ecosystem. Dragonfly eats millions of mosquitoes a fucking day. I just looked this shit up. I was looking at Real hero. Get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Eats so you can be overrun with these fucking mosquitoes near a human population that can possibly give you certain diseases that is picking up that can wipe out a species. 
but these dragonflies are keeping these fucking mosquitoes in check. So everything needs everything. So go ahead, Dre. Right. The reason why it's so plausible to think that this is this could be a created world, which it is. And even when you're talking about um even when you're talking about God and who we who we consider to be God, right? Regardless of what you think of, you know what I'm saying? When you think about what this world actually is and what this reality actually is, you can see that it can very well be created by another being. So let's let's look deep into it. What I call gravity, what I call photosynthesis, what you call air being breathable, uh, air, oxygen, period, being only breathable down here and not breathable in space. All that is code. It's just code on a different level, right? You can give a computer, a computer fucking engineer a computer and say, all right, well, code me something to do this. And he'll do it. Code me something to make a fucking person on the screen jump, but only jump five inches. He can make all that shit done. Our reality has code. Get on the roof, jump off, try to fly. You can't. Unless you have certain things that can make you fly. But just you as a human being, butt ass naked. Flying. Prometheus also. I like that. The, the, yeah. Um, but you can't. You can't because the laws of this universe or this the, the laws won't let you. Okay? They won't let you. What other things, like you get on, you get on um, you get on uh, what do you call that shit? Uh Grand Theft Auto. You make your character, let's say you want to make your character fucking turn into a dinosaur. What has to happen in order for him to turn into a dinosaur? Because if you just play the game regular, yeah, change he, the program. you have to change the program. Same thing with this reality that we live in. You can't do none of that shit because it's not programmed for you to do that. So it has to be plausible for you to understand that we very well could be living in a simulation that is programmed by someone. That's why your ass don't live on another planet. And the reason, and nobody ever, if you, ever play, game, if you ever play a game like, say, Grand Theft Auto or something like that, and you change and you change the code to make this player a different character or something else, if you do too many things at one time, sometimes you can end up glitching your system. It's a game I used to play back in the day. I was a kid. I loved the game Pokemon. It was a cold. Listen, it was a cold in there to cheat the I game. Oh, whatever. It was a cold in there to cheat the game to get infinity items. But mm. you had, but it was a glitch. Pokemon was glitch. It was coded. It was glitch. You couldn't see it was glitch. But it would give you infinity items. It was, I broke the code. But if I fucking caught that Pokemon and tried to use them, it would wipe my fucking game clean. It will wipe the whole, everything I saved up to that point. It'll wipe it clean because I glitched it and I fucked up the code and so much that I fucked the game up and it fucking reset the whole fucking game because this code, this glitch was not supposed to exist in this reality of this game, how it was constructed. That's the reason why probably codes is put in. That's why we probably can't fly as humans. That's why we can't do, we don't have telepathy or we can't move ah. objects with our mind or superhuman strength. Well. Because huh? you were fucking glitched, you were glitched your matrix so much that you could possibly crash the fucking whole system. Well, well wait. Or if it's Let like me. the matrix, what if there are programs? What if, what if, like in the matrix, the programs are destined, they're made to do certain things. There's programs that oversee everything. Like there's programs for the trees, there's programs for the <laughs> air, all of that, right? And they monitor all that shit. And then there's other programs that do things that they're not supposed to do naughty programs that that go out and create shit think about it you know what i mean mass murders uh serial killers um all types of shit planes just dropping out of the sky you know what i mean they do shit they could what if there are programs that create that where people could fly you know what i mean you never heard of people like uh, who uh chris angel out there Hovering at his shows and shit. That nigga ain't <laughs> flying. I talked the other day. He but ain't just, flying shit. I'm just saying, there's people who can do things even Chris that, Angel. that uh, 
that are abnormal to regular human beings? What if there's a code that was broken to make them be able to do this? There you things? go. Because if you concede one thing, you have to think that the other thing is possible. That's why I said, bro, let's let's really, really dive deep into this. If there is coding, which we we know there is no if there is. This all, all this shit is biometrically coded. All right. I use probably the wrong word there, but all the shit is coded. I mean, you DNA are, is nothing but the coding code, of who we are. Correct. All code. So that could mean that there is a way to break code or hack code just like you can hack code on a computer some people use affirmations to hack code and and vibration is a way to hack code sure by crossbreeding to hack code there is a way to hack code have y'all ever thought about that what we do i mean it's it's, when you hack code like you when you if you do you do create glitches in the matrix the glitch in the matrix, nobody like what, what what the fuck is a glitch in the matrix or a glitch in the simulation? One of the glitches that I think is a simulation that sometimes maybe somebody fuck up or I might fuck up and fucking glitch my shit is called deja vu. There you it's go. like, yo man, you walk into the room, it's like, yo man, I just did this already. This it isn't seems that fucking, too familiar isn't that glass you. supposed One of the more to popular stripper names. Yeah. Yep. Ain't that glass supposed to fall off the table and break right now? Like, I know that shit happened like it's about to happen. And it doesn't mm-hmm. happen. Maybe yep. I fucked my coding up so bad and I glitched it. They say, yo, we got to rewind this shit. He might have some memories of what he just did. But he just, just fucking happened. glitched in the matrix. But we can't have that glass break. That glass breaking sends off a whole fucking chain of other events that we yeah. feel like programmed that's just going to glitch this shit. So that glass don't break this time. Rewind that shit. Let him redo what it again. If, what if we are the glitch? It started off with one thing being created just to see, and next thing you know, it just started repopulating and populating and populating. And now the the simulation is trying to figure out a way to get us the fuck out of here. <laughs> so it puts all of these things in the mix to make us go against each other. And I'll see the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Just think about nah, it. Let, so let that shit cool. Thanos snap us. Yeah, with yeah. Thanos snap. It would just, it would just yeah. say, fuck it. You fucking this program up too bad. No, nah, but I'm me, just saying. Send the like, meteor in. There's a, there's a program. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but then what if it, it there's a consequence? It might destroy something <laughs> that it really needs to make this simulation thrive the way it's thriving. Right well, now, we, we're not necessarily a, a minuscule problem, but we're an irritating problem. You get what I'm well, saying? See, well, you and, see what they did here now. So... Look at creating AI. It had us create AI so it could wipe us out, so we could get back to what it was doing previously. Well, you see what happened when they did when they made a uh, dinosaur simulation. You see how they ended that motherfucker? Maybe they, we they ended them motherfuckers. They, 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 not one of them existed. <laughs> not one of them existed out of their fucking simulation. Dinosaur simulation was like, ah, we'll, we'll you know talk what? About that this is another dumb. time. This yeah, is dumb. About that another nigga, time. We don't know. Nigga type. Nigga that type in meteor. He's typed in meteor drops. <laughs> 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 fucking <Nah>. dinosaurs. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. They don't exist. This is just fucking wiped the fuck out. That we'll have to do research on when it's time though, because there is what? different dinosaurs that existed after that too. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just saying, but they fucking just say, hey man, delete. Well, listen, we've been talking about this simulation theory. It's a dude, the scientist out there is, uh, I'm going to fucking butcher, butcher his name, Nichu Kaku. He, look him up. I can guarantee you that that ain't right. It is. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm M-I- joking. Say it again. M I C H I O K A K U. Well, he, he doesn't believe that the fucking simulation theory, he doesn't think this fucking thing exists at all, period. And his reasoning behind it was what you was talking about earlier about how photosynthesis happened. Just the quantum, he said, just the quantum mechanics in that. How would we could make a computer so fucking strong that it can just do that, which seems so simple, just the simple thing of photosynthesis. Not only in one plant, but in trillions of fucking plants are, are fucking across the globe that they all do the same fucking thing. 
he said we wouldn't have a computer strong enough to fucking run all these programs at once and shit like that. You know he said, what? He Go said, ahead. I'm just, sorry. He said just the atoms that make up a small fishbowl is 10 to the 25, which is times 10 by 25. That makes up a small fishbowl. A, a computer will have to create each one of them molecules, that, each one of them atoms to interact with themselves the right way to hold that water together, to provide oxygen atoms in that water for that fish to breathe and have the biomechanics for that fish to breathe in water because we can't breathe in water. I can't, even mm-hmm. though there's oxygen in water, I oh. can't dive in water. Yeah, think about how complex that code is that says the human jumped in the water. He's going down the water. Please run the code for him to have X amount of oxygen for X amount of time. The one thing Cuckoo Kachu doesn't understand is that <laughs> if like, and I think he's arrogant. <laughs> so you can say that that's his name, right? <laughs> uh, that nigga name is well, you called him Cuckoo Kachu, but his name is yeah. I'll, type, well his name. Cool I'll type his name in so people can look him up on the joint. Be- because the thing is, you're assuming once again, you're assuming you know why a simulation does exist. You're assuming. You're arrogant to assume you know why it could exist. Number one. Number two, you're also assuming that we at our current at our current level of thinking has made this this like, yes, now, now we don't have it, right? But if I told you 150 years ago that we was going to be able to talk through a fucking device right here, you would have said, There's no way we could ever do that. What are you talking about? What do you what do you mean? I can see you, I can hear you clearly, and you can broadcast it to other people. Let's say 200 years ago, so because I, I don't really know technology, but let's say 200 years ago, like, oh, we can all have cameras and you could see me clearly than you could see me 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could be talking into a device that could broadcast to millions of people, possibly millions of people, and you could rebroadcast it over and over again. You you can't you can't foresee that. So how the fuck do you know? You can't fathom that. So to say, oh, we can't because we don't have a computer strong enough to do that. Yeah, nigga, you don't. Sucks to be you, cuckoo kachu. You can't do it. <laughs> well, but I the, mean, he's, but them he's, other he's, niggas, them other dimensional niggas, they got that shit, bro. And you don't know what it is, but they got that shit. They can pronounce your name. <laughs> I can't. They got that shit, and that shit could do it. You have to assume, but that's 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 that. But that's that's the thing about us being here as humans. It's like, yo, we. It's like it's hard to fathom something. Like it probably was hard for him to fathom something because he's a he's a physics scientist. That's what he does. He's a physicist, so he does. He goes through this shit every day, (laughs) and he's like, I'm. He's in the know of what quantum compute. What quantum? He knows how quantum mechanic works. Work. He's probably helping. So he's saying we could quantum. never create. We could never create it. Is what he's saying. We could never create. We could never create that could we, He said, "Just the the quantum mechanics, just in photosynthesis, is so fucking crazy. We don't even understand. We don't even understand how it works. We don't even. We can't. We can only break down to like, yo, this plant <laughs> takes in." Carbon monoxide, but it releases oxygen. We don't know how that shit, when the oxygen, I mean, when the carbon monoxide comes into this plant system, how does it break it down on it, not only in the molecular level, but on the subatomic level? How does it break it down to reconfigure these fucking atoms in place to fucking release it back as oxygen? Like, we don't even understand the mechanics of how that's just there. We don't even under, understand the mechanics of how that fucking works. Like, we ain't even get there yet as people. And that's why he was trying to question, like, yo, we don't understand that. Why the fuck would we create a sim? Why would something create a simulation? But that goes to your point, Dre. Something probably already fucking understands that fucking shit. And it was like, yo, I, I studied it. I know how this fucking works. I can fucking write a code for it. 
Yo, can I, can I briefly? Oh, I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead. I'm about to say, no, but I can write a code, code for it. Written, think, think about the code think is about, written to yeah. for us to be to inhabit this area, and it's not meant for us to know. There's just there's really it things that's just not meant for us to know why it is the way it is. But Dr- think about okay, it. But can. There's places that you can't go. Why can't you go there? You will never know. You will nah, never nah. know why you can't go into space. Like just as Kevin Robinson, you know what? Today I'm tired of being in West Saco. I think I'm gonna take a trip to a different uh galaxy and see what's going on on the other side. You can't just get up and decide, you know, what, I'm gonna leave this planet. But but Shit, I'm half the time that, you I'm can't saying. even decide you're gonna leave this country. But I know that. But mm-hmm. I was saying to Drake earlier. I was saying to Drake earlier. We was talking about we was talking about the same game, Grand Theft Auto. And how we perceive gravity. Like I throw, I drop my phone. Down. 